Hey guys, it's a uh, pretty chilly morning here in the north. I don't know what the temperature is, but it ain't too down warm out, that's for sure. What I'm up to today, I'm going to uh, slice up a quarter of moose meat and put it in the smokehouse, the smoke shock. Gonna have some moose meat for breakfast with some coffee and uh, gonna get on that. I'll show you guys a little bit more about my smokehouse and uh, how I built it. A lot of people have been asking me about that. So uh, I'll have my moose meat for breakfast and uh, we'll get started. We'll get the fucking party started. Okay guys. Yeah, you know, I don't care what anyone says. Moose meat is by far the best meat that you could ever eat. Boil it, bake it, fry it, fucking whatever, man. You can't beat it. You grease her up good with uh, lard, salt, and pepper, and you can't go wrong, man. It's better than beef, it's better than pork, it is the best. It's even good smoked. Well, I guess before we get too carried away with our uh, smoke and meat project, what we need is wood first. You know, you can smoke meat with a lot of different types of wood. I prefer diamond wool myself. You know, I tried a lot of different kinds of wood, but each each different wood that you have has a different smell to it, which will give it a different flavor, huh? Diamond willow is uh, my favorite. Red willow or whatever. That's these trees here. These willow trees here. So you exactly what I'm talking about here. Now you see, you see the diamonds on this tree here, huh? It's diamond willow. Someone once told me that diamond willow is red willow uh, all growing up. I don't know. I don't know about that, but uh, I'd have to Google that to check on it. But that's diamond willow, huh? Okay, guys, let's get some wood cut. Yeah, when you're uh, slicing meat to make dry meat or smoked meat, it's a lot easier to do when your meat's uh, half frozen. It cuts a lot nicer, huh? It don't move around too much and uh, you make nice, nice thin pieces. So this meat here, I will uh, I'll probably just put a little bit of salt on this meat and uh, I'll do a little bit salted and a little bit just plain. So this is a whole hind quarter of moose meat and uh, this should just about fill up three rocks in my smokehouse. I'd like to get a bigger smokehouse, make a bigger one. You know I'd like to be able to smoke a whole moose or a half a moose anyways. Smoke four whole quarters. The most I ever smoked in my shack was probably, oh fuck, uh, a hind quarter and two necks. I think, but it'd be nice to do two hind quarters and a couple fronts, you know. So we'll just see how that goes anyways. I'll uh, probably build a bigger smokehouse one of these days. Do it a little different style than that one, I think. So anyways, get this uh, all sliced up, and then we'll go hang it and get our fire going in there. You know, you got to uh, you gotta hang your meat before you get your fire going. You don't want that smoke to burn your fucking eyeballs out. You know, I learned the hard way. Anyways, guys, this is good. Well, I got the most of the meat uh, sliced up now. Got one uh, full tub and a nice pile there. <coughs> uh, these bones here, I'll trim the rest of that off and that'll go in the stew pot. I'll eat the marrow to the bones, and the bones could go to Charlie Dog. He just loves them, huh? About this old smoke shack here, I'll show you guys a little bit about that. You know, back in the olden days, the Indians put uh, they put the smoke on meat and fish to keep the blue flies off it, huh? You know, you know, you don't want to be fucking laying mag maggot eggs on the fucking meat or fish, huh? So that's where uh, that's how smoked meat came in effect, I believe. 
what it's called anyways, and it makes perfectly good sense. Now this old smokehouse here of mine, I just cut, uh, I don't know how many logs I cut on this one, but I built it round because I wanted it to be unique. You know, i never seen a round smoke shock before, and definitely not one made out of logs like this. I stood the logs up just like I did to my cabin. It was pretty easy to do, so I cut and peeled all these logs. It is 8 feet across, <coughs> from the diameter is 8 feet. It's uh, circular, as you can see. All cut and peeled logs, spruce logs. I put this poly around it. Because uh, smoking meat in the winter time, I needed to uh, keep some heat in there when it was 20 below, huh? So I just scabbed it together pretty much, you know, it's it's uh, pretty simple. What I did in here, each, all these logs when I cut them, as you can see, each logs, <coughs> they're all tied together by three. I just scabbed these pieces of two by four. And I laid all the logs down, put them three together, and then I just stood them up in an octagon, huh? It's uh, pretty fucking simple. You know, it was nothing special really. Used a chainsaw with all this and screws and nails and whatever I could uh, scrounge up. My fire pit there. The roof, well, it's just uh, two by four. Little air breather up top and uh, some little shitty old plywood I had laying around. So that's how I, that's how I built this uh, smoke shock. Pretty simple, huh? And I put four rocks in there. You know, I'm, I'm gonna redo it, and uh, I'd like to put about six rocks in here, so I could smoke a little bit more meat than what I could fit in here now. And then uh, between each logs, I cut and peeled some smaller logs just to fill in some of the big gaps. And that's it, man. It's uh, like I said, it's pretty simple. It uh, I don't know. It took a few days to build. It was a good project. It uh, kept me busy. So anyways, man, this is my smoke shock. So, I'm going to hang this meat in here, and uh, we'll get the fire going, and a couple days from now, I'll be eating uh, fresh smoked uh, moose meat. You know, if you look at a little jerky stick in the store, they're fucking expensive. It's like, just for one little strip of fucking jerky beef, beef jerky or whatever you want to call it, it's like... Uh, fucking five bucks or four bucks, whatever the hell it is. Uh, this moose meat is a hell of a lot better than uh, that shit you buy in the store, I tell ya. I'll put salt on it, and the salt and the smoke will cure it. And uh, it's good to go, man. It'll last quite a while, you know. I don't know how long because it's eaten before, uh, it's all eaten before, you know, a couple months it'll be fucking all gone, if that long even. So that's it, man. I'm gonna hang that meat and uh, get some lunch on the go. It's gonna be pretty green here pretty damn soon. Leaves are just starting to come out. Summer is on its way, man. Spring is just about over. Okay. So that filled up all four of my rocks. Good moose meat, huh? Look at that. So now get my fire going in here. I'll salt it first. I'll get my fire going and in a couple days I'm gonna have some fresh uh, smoked moose meat. Let's sprinkle a bit of salt on all this. Oh yeah, this is gonna be some damn good. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Fucking hey guys. Get my fire going in here right away and That'll be the end of that story. Okay, so that was all day. I had the meat in the smoker for. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let this fire die out a little bit. And I'm gonna flip all this meat over. You see it's coming along pretty nicely. It's kinda tough to see in here. It's starting to get pretty late. But uh, it's well on the way to being done. By tomorrow night, all the smoked meat will be done. Or tomorrow afternoon, anyways. That's good, man. And have lots of good smoked moose meat. Let that fire die down, flip that over, and uh, another day in there, and she'd be done, man. Fucking A. Okay, 
following morning now, day two of smoking moose meat. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go through all the meat and I will uh, I'll pick out all the, the dry stuff. Uh, a lot of it's done, a lot of the thicker stuff it still needs uh, another half a day or so probably. And that'll be done too. So before I get my fire going in here in the morning, I'm going to uh, take all the dry stuff out of here and then I'll put everything on the top rack and all the drier stuff we'll put in the middle rack get my fire going in here and it be done holy man does it ever smell nice in here Whew. I sure miss that smell I tell ya okay well let's uh... let's get this picked through and get all the good stuff done stuff out of here yeah if I was ever to build another smoke shack another smoke house the only thing I would do differently is build it a lot bigger you know, I'd love to smoke a whole moose in there. I think I said that a few times already, but that's the only regret when I built this is not building it bigger. Next year, maybe. Build a bigger one. We'll see. Okay, I got all the dry stuff uh, picked through and uh, put away. About half of it was probably dry. Like I said, all the thinner stuff, the stuff over the, the heat was uh, pretty dry. You know, you don't want to over dry it. If you over dry your smoked meat, it just turns real crunchy and it just fucking, when you eat it, it just turns into sand, huh? I've done that a few times and it's uh, it's a little better than when it just breaks apart in uh, nice pieces. You know, you don't want to dry it so it's like right totally, totally like dry, dry. That's, that's no damn good. Unless you like it that way. So that's what I'm left with. I put the rest over, right over the direct heat. Get my little fire going here again. Straight diamond willow. This is good, man. We're just about done. Right on, guys. Well, that was a uh, good couple days. Got all my smoked meat. It's uh, done. Ended up with a half garbage bag full here. You know, that's quite a bit of smoked meat. That's a whole uh, hind quarter of moose meat. So, uh, I know what I'll be eating for the next little while. Be eating good. Don't have to be eating too much dry goods. Oh yeah, look at that, man. That's fucking all packed right full. That is some good, man. Oh, right on. Anyways, guys, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think. You know, I sure like the feedback. That uh, just makes me want to get out and make some more videos. Okay, guys. Peace to everyone.